That should work, right? I'm getting ready to paint my bike. Sandblasting's done. The rims are done being sandblasted. The frame is done being sandblasted. The fairings are in okay shape where I can primer them and do some finish sanding before putting on a uh, base coat and clear coat. But to tell you the truth, I'm not gonna go base coat, clear coat this time. I think I wanna go just kind of a one shot deal. It is a race bike. The probability of it being thrown down the track is a lot less than it used to be. The probability of me throwing it down the track is still there. I got stuff down off the shelf to see what I have on hand. And let's go through it and see what I need to order. One third gallon of uh, clear coat, drop cloth, and a quarter pint of green, probably a half pint of black. I probably have enough primer to do the frame and the rims. So it looks like I need to order some black and some green. So as you can see behind me, the PVC is for the paint booth. We'll be putting that up shortly. We also made up some stands for our fiberglass and our tank that we repaired. So hopefully we can get that painted. A couple years ago when I painted my fairings, I found out that I really don't need to cover the top of the paint booth. All I'm trying to do is contain the overspray. I don't want that dry overspray floating around in the shop, landing somewhere, and a year down the road I clean something off and I'm breathing it in again. The paint booth also functions as a means to keep the dust away. I'm not a professional painter and I don't pretend to be, but I mean again the paint booth has worked great. I'm seeing good results. Not professional because I'm not a professional painter. I'm getting good enough results that it's acceptable to see it on the track. I mean I see a lot of paint jobs out there on the track and this one's probably mediocre.
So the shop is starting to get back to normal. I'm starting to get things cleaned up, which is great. I'm not a professional painter. I don't pretend to be a professional painter and I don't pretend to know what I'm doing. There's plenty of links and YouTube videos on painting if you wanna learn how to paint. There's guys that'll teach you a lot better and that'll inform you a lot better than I'll be able to. The paint that I decided to go with was a single stage urethane with some metal flake or some metallic to it. I found that this paint was difficult to lay compared to a two stage paint. There was a very fine line of getting it too wet and not wet enough. If you didn't get it wet enough, it orange peeled extremely easy. And if you got it too wet, you would start to get drips and sags. I wouldn't recommend this paint for a beginner. I'm a beginner, I got frustrated, but I stuck with it. There's a few points in the video that I didn't put in there, such as I had to wet sand it and repair some of my mess ups. Some of my mess ups, I'm just gonna have to live with. If you like what you've seen today, please subscribe and we'll see you next week.